I think they should have gone further in terms of the proposed marina, uh, in terms of what they're doing. Yes, I, I, yeah. it's always struck me that the, the, the road up from the Pacific East and the, the, yeah. from the pond, that's a great waste of a road. If you want to go from one end to the other, then you can very easily go on the dual carriageway. Mm -hmm. is it, no, it's not a dual carriageway, is it? That's a port way. Yeah. That road's perfectly adequate. The other road could be turned into a proper car park where you've got a narrow road, take away some of the prom park, narrow that a, a bit, take the twelve beds away, the, the grass areas mm -hmm. away. There could be parking on that road in you know, straight in both sides. Right. At the top you need a turning area so you can come back down to get out because it's yeah. gonna be a dead end. Where the pier is where the um, harbour is then, that could be extended into the sort of car park a little like it used to be only yeah. obviously the extent they do it to depends on the demand for boats right and in uh, other time of recession less people have boats i suppose i don't know yeah but uh, so the regeneration progress you think is slow oh extremely slow yeah extremely slow how long have you been waiting for something to happen? <laughs> well, I, it's been talked about for years and years and years. So I don't suppose yeah. to see much change in my lifetime now. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah it could be so much. It's very popular with young people. There's a lot of pubs on the, on the front, which all the young people like. Mm -hmm. I would I would stop the pubs using pavement space outside as right. their drinking area, it, confine yeah. them to the fence. Not that there's ever any problems as far as we're aware of. It's just that uh, yeah. it's a bit disoriented if you walk that side of the road, there's people all in the way. So yeah. I think that's, look, that's a very minor thing. I mean, that's the prom area actually over recent years has is, 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 is become quite a nice yeah, little yeah, place yeah, now. Yeah, so yeah, a bit more yeah, of that yeah, all the way yeah, along carry, then. Carry Extend it all yeah, the way around. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks very much for your time. Right. And uh, so we're going to put all these views together. And, um, you know, it's nice to see people from yeah. the outskirts. Yeah. And there's so much passion for well, the yeah, yeah, skirts. I think I'd feel the same if I did live like my stag or something. And something was like that in there. because there's somewhere to go. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you for your time, sir. All right. <laughs> so what leisure facilities would you like to see? Um, more gym classes, I know. Yeah, more exercise classes. More exercise and classes. Yeah. You look pretty fit, the pair of you, so I don't know why you would need any more exercise classes. <laughs> yeah, we go to Bridgen, that's why. Ah, you go to Bridgen, yeah? There's yeah. not enough facilities in no. Fourth Court. No. Okay. okay, then. We're going to move on to number nine. Number ten. If I gave you £50,000 yeah. from the town council, mm -hmm. what would you go and spend it on in order to help the town? I would hire a team of cleaners, firstly, to clean up the beaches every morning. I would, uh, I would also get the chewing gum off the streets. It sounds very little, but it's appalling. Yeah. That might well cover the 50 grand. So recently, I don't know whether you've noticed in John Street, they have had the bubble gum machine Yes, out. but so, I walk my dog along Green Avenue, yeah. places like that. It's uh -huh. awful where, well, where the kids are coming yeah. from school, really. So basically you'd like to see chewing gum free, dog mess free, basically yeah. the general clean up. Would oh, you, and I want more dog bins because I clean up after bins? my dog and I'm walking around town like this with two bags, you know, one each side. Okay. I want more. <laughs> so how do you feel that Puff Call could be improved? Well, all the wasteland over the campsite that could be um, sorted out. It's from Moonpool. Wasteland at campsite. It's been That's over come up a couple of now. times. Yeah. Yes. Plus swimming pool. Yeah. Uh, you've actually improved the town. Well, well, I'd like to see a few more booths along the front. A few, more, few more kiosks, yes. yeah? Uh, along, along the front there and places where people can sit out of the rain. You know, we need some yes. sort of covered, covered area. Covered area. Yes. The piccolo bar up there now is, is excellent where they, they, they put that um, glass yeah. frontage on it. You know, people go in out of the rain and, and, you know, sit down. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay then, um, have you heard of Port Call First before? Yes. You have. Um, are you a member of the group? No. No. Um, just more leisure facilities is the main one. Yeah, yeah. so that's your, your, your number one priority. Yeah. Yeah, we've got that, that, like that, a that. recreation centre and things like that. Because the thing is, we've got to go elsewhere. Okay. Uh, Good, but there's just so much litter and rubbish around. I know that half of that is the people that are actually use in Porth Call. Yeah. You know, it's not all lack of facilities, but maybe if there were more bins around, because I yeah. hate litter. <laughs> Regeneration to date. What's your thoughts? Is it uh, slow? It's, uh, fast? Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows what's I going on. I think the public should be better informed.
Okay. I mean, I understand Tesco pulled out. What's yeah. going there instead? What would you like to see there? A leisure centre. A leisure centre. If you had control of £50,000 of Port Port Town Council money, how would you spend it? I was spending it on tidying the place up, making it making it look less tatty. Liquor paint, flowers. Did you write that? That sort of thing. Yes, cleaning up the dog mess on that sort of thing. Make your seafront look really quite wow as you arrive. It's a gem yeah. in BCBC's crown. Yeah. So what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? What's Wait. lacking? Plenty of things. Uh, like? Yeah. Amenities for kids. Amenities, yeah. yeah. What sort? Well, whatever. Leisure centres all ah. that. Um, no, we won't even we, go there. Swimming we, pool, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would we We've find all, in a leisure centre? Yeah. So a Everything. swimming pool. Well, Absolutely. whatever. It's the I mean, reoccurring theme. You know, you look at Blaine Gallery, they smashed one down yeah. because it won't be in use and then built a new one. What was the point of that then? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's other people's money, isn't it? Yeah. They don't so, care. I mean, this place just needs uplifting, doesn't it? I mean, look at the town. All these, all this needs redoing. Yeah. You know, if it had been put down tidy in the first place, it wouldn't be sinking and people falling all over. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, do you visit the town to shop, or, or what do you visit the town? I mainly visit just to, to see friends and things, and to yeah. just enjoy time with friends. Yeah. Well, um, I, like, I go to the co-op just down the road. Okay. Just, just down and what do you find the prices are like in the co-op? They're okay. Yeah. 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 So Can you seem to find everything that you want in there? Um, Would you like to see a, a bigger supermarket like Tesco's or Asda yeah, in town? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it do. It'd be really good for football to have something. Yeah. Like and do you think that that would actually uh, take away from the shops in town, or, or do you think that it would bring more people into the town? I think it would bring more people into the town, and then it would encourage them to come and shop in the shops in the main town itself. So I think it'd be really good. I think some might be put up with just like the, that the, the cosmetics and stuff. Ten, like you want to laugh? Bigger range. So okay. They, that might be put up with necessarily. Okay. And do you know when you 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 walk down John Street, do you see that there's um, uh, a good choice of shops, or, or would you say that they're more charity shops or hairdressers, or what, what do you see? I think there's quite a lot of charity shops, and there's a lot of jewellery shops as well. Yeah. So I think we do need just something a bit more than that. Just yeah, really. there's a lot of charity shops. Okay. So. Okay. Would Would you recommend Fourth Call to your friends and family? Um. Yeah. 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 yeah? Yes. And what would you actually say? Why 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 would you encourage them to come to Fourth Call? On a nice day, it's uh, nice to come down the beach and yeah. go. It's just, yeah, it's lovely being on the beach, going to the ice cream shops on the vet, on the seafront and things. So yeah. It's okay. And would you recommend your family and friends to come here? Uh, my family and friends do come here. Right. But to see me, really, not because of what's on offer here. Okay. How do you feel that Port Thor could be improved? Well, it's that we have the worst current in, in the Bristol Channel. Mm -hmm. And to me, I think it's criminal that children are not being taught to swim. Right. And I think they should have a municipal pool. Swimming pool? Um, swimming pool. Could have a swimming pool. Yeah. And wet weather facilities, you said? Yes. 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 So something can be used in the rain. Okay. You need, they need it for, um, for the children. Do they, when they come down in the rain, they need something to do, don't they? Yes. They've got to have something to do. Okay, anything uh, else? No. Lovely. Tell Thank them they you need to keep clean the dog shit up too. Clean the dog shit up, right. <laughs> Tell them to clean it up after them because it's disgusting. That's disgusting. What's that? Hmm? The dog shit. Hmm. <laughs> that won't be on film. <laughs> oh God, the doggy that. poo. The doggy poo. <laughs> let's, let's look in the camera and say doggy poo. Doggy poo. <laughs> Thank you, my lovely. They're all happy now. <laughs> Have you heard of Port Call first? I have indeed. Okay then, are you a member? I'm not. Do you use any of our leisure facilities in Port Call? What leisure facilities? Well, the pavilion. Oh yes. Let's <laughs> <laughs> pump you on that one. What leisure facilities would you like to see? I would like to see wet weather facilities. Um, Is that for all ages? All ages, yes. I'd like to see uh, an OAP. Facilities? 
And as I say, I'd like to see the council working together, not pulling apart. And um, you mean in the town council the and Bridge End? I think, oh. and I have said this all my life, the BCB has raped Port Paul for their money all their life. All their life? All their life. What, all the way since 1974? My husband and I used to own the Atlantic Hotel, as you know, and 25 years ago we went to a tourism meeting. I think it was hosted by David Sage. He was a junior then, and we said about um, parking on the seafront where they should have meters. And they said they couldn't put the meters in because there was no electric. So my husband Bob and I said, well, what are those things, tall things with the light at the end? I said, why can't they be fitted into them? And we were told to be quiet. So you were suppressed? I was suppressed 25 years ago. And we've been campaigning for that ever since. There is absolutely nowhere in South Wales that you would have car parking facilities that we have on the prom for no money at all. You know, I'm not against people coming to Port Hall. I love people coming to Port Hall, but they bring their fish and chips onto the prom, they bring their flasks on the prom, they bring nothing into Port Hall apart from buying fish and chips. So as it's supposed to be the jewel of the seven seas, which it once was, it's not anymore and I think the fairground should also be either updated or get rid of and put something else there apart from houses and flats which we do not need. Because at the end of the day, how are we going to have more doctors? How are we going to have more schools? How are we going to have more parking? Okay. And your general opinion on Salt Lake? My general opinion on Salt Lake, it should never have been closed. We've had 12 years of lost revenue, and that was done without the Port Court Commission, the people of Port Court. Sandy Bay. Sandy Bay, it was taken out of Port Court. And we've lost all that revenue for all these years. Okay. How do you feel 